It's been the ambition of every totalitarian state from the beginning of mankind to control every aspect of behavior, of conduct, of thought, and to obliterate dissent. None of them have been able to do it. They didn't have the technological capacity. Even in Hitler's Germany, you could, you could cross the Alps into Switzerland. You can hide in an attic like Anne Frank did. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. spoke at an anti-vax rally in Washington, D.C. this weekend, and he made the ridiculous comparison of the unvaccinated being treated like Jewish people in Nazi Germany. I visited in 1962 East Germany with my father and met people who had climbed the wall and escaped. So it was possible. Many died truly, but it was possible. So that got him quite a bit of backlash. People even started asking his wife, actress Cheryl Hines, if she agreed with her husband's comparison. And she replied to one Twitter user, my husband's opinions are not a reflection of my own. While we love each other, we differ on many current issues. The next morning, Robert issued an apology on Twitter, writing, I apologize for my reference to Anne Frank, especially to the families that suffered the Holocaust horrors. My intention was to use examples of past barbarism to show the perils from new technologies of control. To the extent my remarks caused hurt, I'm truly and deeply sorry. 20 minutes later, Cheryl posted a more formal statement saying, my husband's reference to Anne Frank at a mandate rally in DC was reprehensible and insensitive. The atrocities that millions endured during the Holocaust should never be compared to anyone or anything. His opinions are not a reflection of my own. They must have fun dinner conversations. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to have differing opinions, but for your husband to be out there saying stuff like that in the public sphere, I don't know how you sleep next to that, Cheryl Hines, but good on you. But I mean, yeah, I think Cheryl's statement says it all. It's reprehensible, it's insensitive. To ever make a comparison to a Holocaust is just ridiculous, so yeah. Good statement, Cheryl Hines. RFK Jr., what do you think?